Hi, my name is Nicole Briseño. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I was born and raised in Cancun, Mexico, and I moved to LA when I was 12 years old. Growing up, I always wanted to have my own business. Both of my parents are business owners, so I never really wanted to work for anybody. But when I moved to the United States, I realized that everybody works for everybody, and it was a little harder to have my own business. But I think I always knew that, that like one day I'd be able to achieve my goal. Well, I was in high school when I started this, so my first step was making the Instagram. And it was horrible pictures. It was like on the bed or just like I started with jewelry mainly. And I would have friends at school. I'd show them the stuff. They follow the Instagram and they'd ask me, okay, I want it. So I'd take it to school in my bag and just in the bathroom we'd exchange. They'd give me the cash and I'd give them their stuff. Um, after that, I asked my mom, I told her I was ready for my store and she kind of laughed at me. So she said, no, you have to like start from the bottom. So when she told me the idea of the San Fernando Swamp Meet, I was like, what do you mean the Swamp Meet? I don't want to go to the Swamp Meet. I was used to going with my grandparents, but just to like, you know, as a little kid, like buy stuff, whatever. But she was serious. So I got a spot at the Swamp Meet and I was there for like a year and a half. And during the summer, Northridge Mall has a farmer's market. I do that as well. and. That's how I started. I mean, with like a little canopy and like a table that didn't really stand on its own. So that was that. After a year and a half, I told my mom, well, I had the money and I was like, I'm ready. And she said, no, now I want you to get an actual job. And I looked at her like, you're a crazy woman. Like, what do you mean an actual job? So she actually um, told me she wasn't gonna support me unless I got a job before opening the boutique. So I was like, okay. So I got an office job and I worked in North Hollywood for a um, car title loan place. I loved the job. Like By the time I was there for six months, I, it was really good because I worked on my customer service, which has always been number one for both my mom and dad. And the person that actually um, owned the place was there every single day. So that like was a big impact for me because even though he makes tons of money, like he's there every day to make sure that the company is running smooth and from open to close and he'd probably like stay every day until like everybody left. After that my mom told me okay well like you're getting too comfortable at that place I think you're ready for the store. It was hard for me to quit that place because I was making good money I just liked it. Um, we started looking at locations. My first option was Granada Hills. I wanted to open um, around there because that's where I went to high school but that didn't really um, work out. So then we started looking around here and I was like no mom like you know but my mom said, well, you already have clientele from the Swamp Meet around here, so maybe if this is your first location, like people already know you. And yeah, that's how we opened here on McLean 2nd, and we actually just turned a year in this location, and it's doing very great. Our next move, and I say R, because to me, I'm be trying to be the team. Without my parents, I wouldn't um, be able to do what I love. Well, I mean, I'm very proud that we're in San Fernando, because they don't have a mall around here or anything really to, like besides like fashion stores and stuff. So people like it, that like, I like to be able to bring nicer stuff than just the cheap stuff to my people and they could afford it. There's some people that won't be able, but that's why we have always options like a cheaper and a more high-end brand in the store. I'd like to open in Granada, but the main goal would definitely be Ventura Boulevard. That was my like first location that I wanted, but I knew at the time I was 18, I was like, it's not gonna, when we opened the store, I was actually 19. I was like, it's not very realistic to start on Ventura Boulevard with the lease, but I think I think we'll get there. With the website being launched already, I think we're growing slowly but surely. Online is amazing. It's actually a market or a business that I'm not fully familiarized with. So when we did the website, we didn't know what to expect. My mom, like even though she has boutiques, she's been in the business for almost 30 years. She's never done online. If you're very tech savvy, then yeah, do the online, you know? But the thing with online is definitely you have to have a warehouse with all the stock, and that's a big investment. So the reason I would recommend to even start like at your house or have like parties at your friend's house with like a little booth and with the stuff that you sell, that's I think more the idea I'd lean towards because it's a smaller investment. No matter what you do, you're gonna have to invest, but that's always a better idea. Like, doesn't necessarily have to be the swamp meet. But something smaller than that because a website like just the website alone is like such a huge investment but um the biggest investment in here that you have to like no matter what like there's no way out of it is time 
and time is like super valuable but that's something you have to put into this if you want to like succeed and have a business it's like it's your life my advice for any girl trying to start an own business is that it's possible it's very possible it's just a lot of sacrifice a lot so if you're still trying to party or your significant other wants to spend every day together it's not going to work out and it doesn't mean that you can't have fun or have a boyfriend or whatever it is you can still do all those things but you just got to work hard now so that later maybe you can like relax a little bit more also well i mean to me it's all about focus and being hungry because if you're not hungry then i don't know like life is a jungle i don't mean it in the sense of like get anything out of your way that's not helping but you have to fight for what you want. One thing is becoming successful, another thing is staying successful. So even if they don't have a supporter, like be your own supporter. So if you guys haven't visited MB Trendy, make sure to stop by and visit us. We're on McLean 2nd in the city of San Fernando. Or if you guys aren't local, you guys can definitely check out our website. That's mbtrendy.com. Or follow us on any social media, um, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. It's all at mbtrendy. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs>